Hi, Cutie Paws. I'm Lanikia, and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is Days of Our Lives edition for, this is for Thursday, January the 25th, 2024. Let's get into it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, Okay, so on this episode that um, we saw today, and yes, I am behind. I have not watched since that Wednesday, uh, January the 25th or 4th. Um, So what we see is that, okay, Chanel is over here with Johnny. He's giving her a ring. It's an Elizabeth Taylor um, ring, but he changed the stone in it to match them being in, the, in Italy. I think something with the uh what did he say venetian or something anyways child it's cute y'all like chanel and johnny i could take them or leave them i have nothing against them um but if they're if they're on air i'll watch if not i'm okay you know so anyways so they're there they're doing that whole thing they decide they want to get married on valentine's it's real cute everything they got going on is real cute so then we see um, Abe talks to Paulina because they were they were not with Paulina at the time. She's at her office working. He talks to Paulina, told her, don't overwork yourself. She said, okay, I'm, I'm good. So then they meet up later and, you know, they're talking and she tells them about everything going on with her. This is Paulina, Chanel, and Johnny's because they all meet up at Paulina's office and they came to visit her, right? And so she tells them everything that's going on because y'all know they're doing this whole valentine's day um function um where they you know they're trying to raise money and all of that is for charity uh stephanie uh wendy trip and all them anyways so paulina was telling them about that they were like okay that sounds cool and so they're talking to her and chanel waving her hand around you know how it be and so paulina is just she caught up in everything she don't even notice it until chanel just puts her hand in her face and like yeah johnny's gonna be busy on valentine's day and she's like oh my gosh is that a ring so paulina of course goes into worker mode she's ready to get everything started she's ready to plan this wedding and everything then she gets a call from her um oncologist and they can't perform her surgery for two months and at first she was like oh my gosh but then she said you know what i'm gonna focus on your wedding i don't know what's gonna happen with paulina again i haven't i'm not caught up yet um so i'll have to see y'all gonna be so mad at me the people who have their notifications on because i'm gonna try to get this done over this weekend and i'm just gonna be dropping 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 um all at one time so yeah forgive me um anyways that's it with them y'all i'm not gonna hold you along on that um so then we go over here and we see <sighs> wendy and trip child this is another couple that you know if i see them okay cool but if i don't see them i'm okay um but anyways we see wendy and trip um are with stephanie and they're playing remember i told you pauline and was telling them about this charity event they have going and so they're gonna call it catch cache cupid because it's with technology and all that, you know. It's cute. It's cute. So they're doing all that. And she um and Trip was distracted. And she said, Are you thinking about your are you worried about your mom? And he was like, What you mean? Why are you talking about that? And she said, I will with the bistro. They hired me on the for PR. And he was like, Oh, yeah, but they'll be okay. And so, anyways, Stephanie ends up leaving. And Wendy was like, Oh, you were scared when she said about your mom. And he said, Yes. Um, he was like, I know my mom's in trouble. And he said, Honestly, Wendy, you shouldn't be met, um dating Ava Vitali's son. She has mopped eyes. And I said, Trip, like, it ain't this serious. <laughs> it's not that deep. <laughs> it's not that deep. <laughs> i mean but claudia is trying to kill him or whatever but i don't know y'all it's not that deep for me but anyways let's move on with trip and everything y'all let's move on so um then we go to uh who um that's that's it with trip and winnie they're gonna try to figure out they she tells them she wants to be with him and they go in the bedroom um let's move on so then we see uh chad is with everett and everett is typing up his resignation letter oh oh you're too dramatic for me sir like the the drama of it all i'ma sit here in your face and type up this resignation letter so you could try to keep me to convince me to stay i don't know it's just something about everett i don't like <laughs> 
some reason he just rubs me the wrong way but anyways child so everett is typing up this resignation letter right in front of chad's face and so of course chad is like why why would you do this and he said because you gave Stefan a pass and and i don't want to work for a company that gives him a pass that that was a part of a bigger picture you know two other places were busted and they had drugs the bistro didn't we could have let the readers decide I was, and he just he was just going off about all that and i said honestly this is your boss like every acts like he runs the paper or whatever and chad allows him to act this way so anyways child chad promises every day he won't do this again for them like that he won't give Stefan any special treatment and that's it that's it let's move on like from from that part of it so they continue to talk or whatever and every just drop happens to drop that he was over at stephanie's place the other day having dinner i said now nah, this do seem like he innocently mentioned that but i don't trust every that's just i just don't trust him so he mentions this to chad and chad was like oh you was over there having dinner and he said yeah and chad um steve gave me the third degree he was like yeah i know that degree that honestly steve is the reason stephanie and chad are not together right now because he gave him the third degree and chad and stephanie figured out chad did not want to be married anytime in the future and she did but girl like both of y'all were wrong for that stephanie was wrong moving in with that man playing house when you knew you wanted more than that and chad don't nobody want to help you raise your children <laughs> make their lunch pick them up from school help you with all that kind of stuff and you're not gonna put a ring on their finger and and give them an official tie don't nobody want to do all that i mean some people do so find that girl because it wasn't stephanie but anyways so they're talking about all of that or whatever and then stephanie ends up coming in oh chad tells Everett that you know he's happy him and stephanie um are you know friends and and he's just gonna stay out of it and Everett's like wow this is such a turnaround i said oh, did just take the the man giving you an apology and let it go i just can't stand Everett. there's just something about him Ugh. anyway stephanie comes in and Everett gets a text and he has to leave because ava and harris have been hauled down to the station he said you cool with this right chad and chad said yeah i'm cool with it so he leaves and then chad and stephanie end up talking and she he tells her that he's sorry for the way he treated the guy you know how jealous he was acting when they were together and he's happy she has somebody like everett no matter where it where it turns out friendship relationship whatever it don't matter y'all let me move on because this is one couple that i do not really this is one two people on this soap i don't have to see <laughs> like the other ones i'm indifferent but these two don't bore me to sleep uh is that the right saying bore me to sleep anyways put me to sleep anyways moving right along so then we get to the police station did i hit everybody up before we go yeah so we get to the police station now ava and harris have been hauled in well they were requested to come in so now they're sitting in the you know the interrogation room and harris and and stephanie's just like don't say nothing i said now wait a minute i know i ain't watched this soap in two weeks but the last time i watched it i could have swore stephan did not have a mustache <laughs> how did he get a mustache in a matter of hours a full-blown one at that but then i could be remembering it wrong but anyway so he's sitting down talking to ava and everything and um he's like you don't say nothing she said i got this it's not my first rodeo so then harrison and and um ray for like we got them we we gonna put the squeeze on them we we know they gonna break after this and 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 ray is like i don't know harris but okay we're gonna go with it so they go in and they're about to talk to Stefan and Ava and then Sloan comes through comes through y'all know I love me some Sloan she said ah 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 because what you're not about to do is talk to my clients without me being here and they said okay so she sits down and she said first of all this is borderline harassment y'all raided the place y'all showed up y'all called them down like at this point y'all are harassing my clients and they said okay we hear all you saying sloan but um we want to ask them about clyde and they said we don't know no clyde we don't we've heard of him we don't really know him and so they said well evidence shows that y'all actually went to visit him at statesville and so they didn't even blink off that they didn't flinch or anything Stephen said yeah he killed my sister-in-law so yeah while i was going to see gabby i swung by and let him know what's what and so then he says 
that Ava says, well, I'm going to tell you the truth. He threatened to kill Trip, and so I let him know, don't you do that to me. And so, you know, I told him I, it, because he wanted me to run his drugs, and I said, I'm not going to do that. And they said, so you just told him no, Ava. And she said, yeah, I just told him no. That's exactly what I said. I told him no. And they was like, no, nah, Ava. And she was like, it is what it is. And 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 <laughs> so I said, all right, that's enough talking. Now, we're going to go ahead and go. They unexplained things. They're not under arrest. They're about to leave. And then Ava says, no, I want to speak to uh, Detective Harris in private and Sloan says I do not advise you to do this and Ava says well I'm not going to take your advice I want to speak to him in private so everybody leaves out now at this point Everett has came down and he's like Sloan what they up in there talking about and she said I wish I knew and so she going about her business and while they're in there um Harris tells Ava, just tell me the truth. I said, she did tell you the truth. You know what the whole thing is about. Now, she did say she didn't say I'm working for Clyde, but like use your detective st skills and understand that she's working for him. And she just told you why, because of Trip. Like, what is wrong with y'all? So anyways, he's like, Ava, I love you. And she was like, Harris. And he said, no, I love you. I said, first of all, y'all only went on like, <laughs> y'all only went on like two dates but i get it because y'all got to get him back to general hospital <laughs> so okay okay we're gonna speed this relationship along we're gonna microwave this popcorn so he's like okay i love you or whatever and she was like you don't need to love me she said drop this case i'm not saying anything i'm just telling you to drop it he said ava ava stop speaking in hypothetical and just tell me what's going on and she said i can't so the next thing you know he kissing her and so they all outside sloan got, walks away with race uh Everett is talking to Steph and he like your brother not gonna protect you next time with the paper so you might as well talk to me and then the next thing you hear Ava telling Harris what's wrong with you and she went and slapped Harris and so now everybody runs back into the room and you know they see Ava pushing Harris off of her and so Sloan is like oh y'all doing this oh this is harassment and so they going she going off about that and they, she's like, we're going to press charges. And Ava's like, no, nah, I don't want to press charges, but I want to leave. And so they leave or whatever. And Rafe is like, Harris, what the heck? And um, so then Everett tells Ava, you want to make a statement? And Sloan says, no, she does not. But what you can tell the public is that the police officers are harassing them and trying to force them, you know, on them or whatever. And that was it, y'all. That was uh, Days of Our Lives. It was pretty darn good. It was a pretty good episode. Let me go on and watch the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.